this tutorial will instruct you how to configure your keyboard and printing settings using the Keyware configuration tool. The Disable Keyboard Keys section allows you to set which key sequences are allowed or not allowed. By default, all sequences are allowed. To block a sequence, click on the desired set of keys and press the block button. The Display Modal Preprint Alert text box allows you to set the message displayed when the user tries to print. The Display Post Printing Message text box allows you to set the message displayed after the printer is done printing. The Use Custom Print Template option gives you the ability to use a print template of your choice. To use this, check the checkbox and type in the URL of your template. You can disable JavaScript printing by clicking the Disable JavaScript Printing button and you can also set the maximum number of prints allowed by changing the value of this number box. Selecting the Easy Access Keypad checkbox enables the Easy Access Keypad. The Help URL is the URL Keyware will redirect to if the user presses the Help button. Keyware comes with a virtual keyboard in the event that your device doesn't have one. To configure your virtual keyboard settings, first press the Virtual Keyboard button. The keyboard is disabled by default, so you have to press the Enable Virtual Keyboard checkbox to enable the keyboard. The Display Virtual Keyboard on-field focus option means that the virtual keyboard will only appear when the user clicks in an empty field such as the URL address bar or a text box. The Always Use Generic Virtual Keyboard option means that Keyware will use the default virtual keyboard. The Opacity slide bar sets the transparency of the keyboard. Setting the slider all the way to the left will make the keyboard invisible, while setting the slider all the way to the right will make it opaque. You can edit the size of the keyboard by changing the values in the width and height boxes. The position can also be set with the vertical position drop-down box. The keyboard URL path drop-down sets which keyboard is being used. Keyware comes with several options for virtual keyboards. The content-specific virtual keyboards option gives you the ability to set a specific virtual keyboard for a website. To add a new entry, press the Add New button. You can specify the website by adding the URL in the Domain Name text box. The entry description describes what the entry is. The Web Form Control ID is an optional property that will be used if you only want the keyboard to appear when filling in a form with a specific ID. By leaving the page list empty, all pages on the website are allowed. However, if you add a page, only that page will allow the keyboard. 